Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today uh, I wanted to go through some of my favorite products slash things that I've been really loving for the past few months, basically all of 2019. I just wanna share it because I feel like each of these items have helped me in different areas of my life and I thought why not share so maybe it can help you guys out in your lives. I guess I would say I have like multiple categories here. So I have like makeup and skincare and some tech stuff, some like hobby stuff and some book brain stuff that I guess is a category. So without further ado, I guess let's just go ahead and get started with like makeup and skincare. First product that I'm gonna talk about is this vitamin E oil that I got from Target actually. The reason I got this is because I've been wanting to use oils on my face. I just thought I just want an oil that's going to rejuvenate my skin. The only things that I was really using was makeup wipes and Dove soap as my skincare. Dove soap is like my go-to wash, but I didn't feel like I was rejuvenating the stuff that I was like sucking out of my skin. Like I was only using moisturizer like Lubriderm lotion. I knew that I needed to moisturize my skin just that much more and my roommate actually told me about vitamin E oil and how good it is for your skin and it actually says it on the bottle as well. It supports healthy, vibrant looking skin known for its revitalizing properties and is especially helpful as a soothing emollient for dry flaky skin. I don't really have flaky skin but I definitely have dry skin especially um, right here around my nose. That's why I just stick to really simple things when it comes to my skincare because I don't want something that has a bajillion ingredients and fragrances in it. So yeah, I've been using this after I wash my face at night and um, I just put that on before I go to bed. I feel like it's helped or maybe just maintained my skin, but along with that, I like using this jade roller with the oil because you're supposed to roll this thing on your face with oil. This was way overpriced. If you guys can find one of these for cheaper, I definitely recommend going for that. So um, I thought that this was a really good tool for massaging my forehead and right here because I just feel like really puffy in the mornings as well. So I would say I use it probably like once a week. So this has been really fun to use too. We don't really massage our faces so if you feel kind of puffy and kind of like your face needs some massaging this is a great tool for that okay the next product is the saint ives gentle soothing oatmeal scrub and mask this has been my go-to exfoliator for my skin for all i've been really using all my life is dove soap and up and up face wipes. I knew that I needed some exfoliating in there because you're supposed to be exfoliating your skin and cleaning out those pores. So I went to Target and I looked for a really subtle exfoliating exfoliator. I've used like apricot scrubs and stuff like that before, but that has really thick exfoliate and exfoliants. What can happen with the thick beads in the apricot scrub is that it can tear your skin. What I did was um, St. Ives actually has like these indicators right here on the back of their bottles that say the exfoliation factors here. And I just looked for one that had gentle. See the little beads that it has those are really small so they won't tear your skin um, they feel really good on your face still exfoliates while not hurting your skin I know st. Ives isn't like the most natural face wash but I thought it was a good path to take for a drugstore face wash another product that I would say falls into skincare or body care is this feminine wash by the honey pot company it's a plant-based feminine wash i did want a feminine wash for you know just like taking care of um down there sometimes you just want to feel extra clean you know especially when you're on your period or you're just feeling kind of dirty and it smells really good and it comes out 
like foam and it feels natural and healthy for your vagina i don't really use it too often uh because i just feel like it'd be too much to wash down there with a product every day but yeah it smells really good and it's been really good i have had no bad reactions of any sort it hasn't unbalanced my ph levels it's cruelty free and vegan which is really dope there's no harm in using it i did want to talk about my favorite books recently i recently got a library card so i thought it'd be a great idea to incorporate reading back into my life i've never been a big reader never read any books that you had to and in like school as an adult i think it's really important especially since i'm out of college now like everything that i learn is now on me and it's not being assigned to me so i went to the library and i picked up three books i picked up the four agreements which i have now returned already i gotta say it's been and it is my favorite book to this day and everyone that I've met that has read it says the same thing that it's helped them so much in their lives and it's actually a book that you can like read over and over again it just has like really staple pieces in living a positive healthy life it actually like hit home so much for me because of the habit that I have of being negative sometimes i just get in these moods where i turn everything into a negative thing i don't see the silver linings and things i actually got a tattoo recently when i went to new york and it's of this little leaf here i saw it in the four agreements book before every chapter they had like a little a little leaf like that it's become this thing where like you just need to read it and live by that every single day or try to i'll put it down below if you guys want to order it yourself the other book that i rented out from the library was how can i get through to you and i basically found it in like the psychology section i studied psychology and have a bachelor's degree in psychology so i've always been intrigued in like the human mind and you know all that fun stuff breakthrough communication beyond gender beyond therapy beyond deception so i've gotten halfway i believe yeah i've gotten pretty halfway it's about how to understand yourself so that you can have others understand you better and how to understand others better as well i'm a big relationship person i've not even just like with boys i mean like with friendships and and like family members like i i'm really analytical and trying to figure out like what relationships are more successful than others and how they're more successful than others and how to be more successful in other relationships because although i love relationships and stuff like that I haven't really been good in relationships myself and so I got that just to kind of better my understanding so that I can be in better relationships in the future. I feel like I'm taking another psychology class so I will list that down below as well because I think it's a really like kind of interesting book. The next thing is one of my favorite little hobby things that I've been loving went to goodwill recently and i got this holga film camera for 4.99 so i mean these aren't expensive anyways they're usually like around 16 maybe max 20 bucks i was just looking at it and i was like okay i have no idea what this camera does or how to work it but this guy walked past and he was like oh that's a really good deal for a holga and i was like Oh, I'm not one to take a man's word for anything, but like I didn't know what he knew either But he was like, I mean, it's a really amateur camera, but it's fun and you know, it's only five bucks So I was like, you're right. Um, so then I I got it when I went to New York Actually, I got film for it. So like you basically open this up like this and Like you you buy this like huge film for it and you wrap it around here and I took it to a few places. I will put the pictures that I took with the camera on the screen. I developed them like two days ago. That was really fun. So it was cool like getting to know something that I've never ever tried before but I've always wanted to do. And actually the pictures came out kind of dope. So I'm probably going to order some more film for this camera and just keep using it. That has been one of my favorite things um, recently. Next, techie 
gadgety thing. I got an iPad like four months ago, but specifically talking about apps, I have been loving the Procreate app. I don't know if you guys have heard of it, probably, but it basically looks like this. So hold on, let me just explain. I basically got the iPad because I wanted to start creating my own graphics for my videos, even my thumbnails that you have been recently seeing that has all been created on my ipad because i wanted them to be really unique and not just like the typical like regular fonts or regular google pictures like this thumbnail of my most well, not my most recent, but one of my recent videos I created on here. It's kind of like Photoshop, but for drawing. And I have all these layers here. And you can, like, move them around so you can be, like, drawing on top or under a certain icon. But I basically drew that birth control, drew that needle, and I drew the, like, pink little gradient around myself. And that little fun stuff, why I stopped using birth control. I don't know, it was just so much fun. On. It made it not look like the usual thumbnail like that's my kind of Thing like I really want my stuff to be myself and who I am I don't want to look like any other youtuber. I do think that it's easy to get lost in an aesthetic of certain YouTube channel sometimes like thumbnails just look the same from every other thumbnail. Here's another thing I did for my recent room tour i drew that it's really easy to draw here even if you're not a drawer I, i've never really been an artist myself because they just have so many different brushes on here and you can make your own color palettes you just can do literally anything and then you can blend with your finger as well oops i just did something it's been such a big factor in in my editing process i think it's important as an adult to like keep your creative juices flowing from different areas you know like i obviously make youtube videos but i don't want to just use my computer as the only creative way to do that you know if there's like so many different things that you can use so many different avenues don't just stick to one thing um the next thing i wanted to do is close so my favorite piece of clothing has been um, these yellow like mustard yellow corduroy pants they're like kind of like bell bottom but they're cropped so they're not like they don't go all the way down to your ankles um, but I actually got this from forever 21 although we are not supposed to support fast fashion on this channel anymore <laughs> but I just couldn't help it I, I went with my mom one day cuz she just likes going to the mall sometimes and I walked past like in forever 21 to get to the mall and I just man they really like get you good I just had to get them so they're just really like soft and comfortable and they don't even feel like I'm wearing pants when I'm wearing them the next piece is thrifted and it's this blue coat with these like really subtle like mauve pink buttons and it's from Salvation Army I believe I get all of my coats and basically all of my clothes from thrift stores, mainly Salvation Army or Buffalo Exchange. Salvation Army is so much cheaper and on Saturdays they have half off everything. This is from Partners Mervyn's. What the heck? You guys remember that store? And it's a size medium. I'm pretty sure I found it in the men's section, but it looks like this. It's light, but it's also uh, keeps you warm. Usually what happens is these coats have these huge shoulder pads. They don't have them anymore because I, I took them out. Ripped them right here, which I need to fix that. I need to get a freaking sewing machine. But without the shoulder pads, it still has that dominant shoulder, which I really like. And the color is just so, so complimentary. I don't know. I, I really like that. I think that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. I love sharing any kind of stuff that has been helpful to me to you guys because I know that it inspires and motivates you guys or at least I hope it does. So yeah, please let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and if I should do more favorites videos at the end of every month or every other month I think is more ideal. I'll see you guys in the next one and I hope you guys have an awesome day. Bye! Tearing all the worries from my brain Waves that put me crushing Come
OTC and let but keep me tamed. Grasping to my body and my soul.